Hey everyone, it's Joe from GreenLightSound.com, and today we've got a look at a plugin from Baby Audio called iHeart New York, a New York style parallel compressor. And I want to start out by saying a big thank you to Baby Audio for giving me a copy to take a look at here. And basically, what this plugin does is allows you to do parallel compression, otherwise known as New York style compression, inside of one plugin. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, I can already do that with a wet dry knob on any compressor if it has one. But not really. A wet dry knob is going to give you a ratio between the wet and dry signal and blend both in uh, sort of a linear amount. Traditional New York style compression is having one dry fader, whether it is a single audio track or a bus, which is sent to another bus where a compressor is kind of slamming it. And you can sort of put that compressor in to taste where you can have a full dry signal with a little bit of wet in or you can have a full wet signal and a little bit of dry in and any kind of combination in between pushing the volume level higher than it originally was because of the parallel compression and that's what this plugin is able to do on a single audio track which is awesome and another great thing about it it is so easy to set up it sounds fantastic too but it's such an easy setup so the first thing i'm going to do is put it on drums i placed it right on the drums bus and what I'm going to do is play the audio. I'm going to move the spank knob until it's barely sort of touching the red and the meter down here. You'll see that in a moment. I'm going to push up the parallel signal till I get the sound I'm looking for and then adjust the output as needed if it gets too hot. So here it is on drums. Out. With. I'm going to push it a little bit on purpose so you can hear what it really feels like when I push the uh, parallel compression up. I mean, it just smacks the heck out of the signal. It sounds really good. If I hit the solo button, you're going to hear just the processed audio with no dry audio at all. And it's just that sort of ducking full compression sounds a little bit like an 1176 all buttons in style compressor but it's really really easy to set up that way and in the context of a full mix if i bring it down a little bit turn off the solo i'm going to start with it off and then engage the parallel compression you hear how it really helps the drums pop out of the mix late night sun's been down for an hour or two and it's still just me and you I mean, it really just helps everything pop out of the mix. The next instance I'm going to look at it on is bass. And with the bass, I'm going to set it up the same exact way. I have it on the bass bus here where the bass DI, the bass tracks are bus to. And then I'm going to bypass it first and then engage. Here it is without the plugin. And with. Now it's definitely more subtle on bass, but if you listen to the initial transient of the bass note coming through and how even that bass tone is, you can really hear what it's doing. So here it is without. And with. It's just gonna pop through the mix a little bit more with that engaged. And the final thing I wanna look on is vocals. A lot of times you kind of slam a vocal and bring that in parallel. So I have it set it up on the vocal track here. I'm going to bypass first and have the vocals in the context of the full mix. Late night, sun's been down for an hour or two. And it's still just me and you. Late night, sun's been down for an hour or two. And it's still just me and you. So this plugin does basically one thing, but it does it really, really well. That, that parallel compression, if you have a mix element you want to pop out of the mix, this is a great tool to put it on to get that element to start popping out of the mix. So easy to set up too, which is really nice. In this example, in these three examples rather, I, I kind of overdid it. I pushed a little farther than I would in the, in the context of an actual mix 
just so you can really hear the effect of the parallel compression, but you can dial it back to whatever amount you need. Uh, it's a fantastic tool. I can't recommend it highly enough. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in the next one.